In this example, we'll compare three long-term loans for the same amount of money at the same interest rate. One for 30 years, one for 20 years, and one for 15 years. For each one, we just need to calculate the payment amount. And again, skipping that calculation, I'll just show you the values for each one. For the 30-year mortgage, the payment amount is $954.83. For the 20-year mortgage, the payment is $1211.96. And for 15 years, it's $1479.38. Notice that the payment goes up the shorter the loan is. And that makes sense because you have to pay off the same amount of money in a shorter period of time, so you have to make higher payments. But it turns out that we're gonna see the amount of interest paid will drop as you go to a shorter and shorter loan because you're paying it back faster, so there's less time for the interest to accrue. So in each case, we'll multiply by 12 to get the amount paid per year, and then we'll multiply by the number of years. So in the first case, we'll multiply by 30, to get the total amount paid. The next case will multiply by 20, since it's only a 20 year mortgage, and lastly by 15. So in the first case, the monthly payment times 12 times 30 works out to $343,738.80. The second example, the total amount paid is $290,870.40. And in the last case, that's $266,288.40. So notice that the total amount goes down, and again, we can compare the interest paid by subtracting the principal. And the principal is the same in all three cases. It's $200,000 for each one. And so if we subtract $200,000 from each one, in the first case, we get $143,738.80. The second example, we get $90,000. 870 and 40 cents. And the last case, we get 66,288 and 40 cents. So notice how dramatically the interest drops off, where the last case you're paying less than half as much interest than in the first case. Because there's so much less time for the money to accrue interest, you end up paying dramatically less. Now, the trade off, of course, is that your monthly payment is so much higher. So you have to budget as well as you can to fit into what you can afford. But just know that if you take a shorter loan, you'll end up saving money in the long term if that's feasible for you to do.